Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Tuesday. So it is a lot going on in the news. And I know a lot of people have been tagging me in this and wanted me to talk about the whole Passport Bros situation. If you guys do not know, the Passport Bros have made international news once again. And this time they are getting warnings from the State Department. It is getting really bad out here. Now, one thing I will say is that I never wanted to get involved in this whole Passport Bros debate because I just, I don't care enough. You know what I'm saying? People are going to date who they want to date. And I feel like, you know what, we live in a big world with social media and the internet. You know, people want to get out and meet other people. But then as I started going down the passport bro rabbit hole, I realized this is nothing but modern day sex tourism for most of them. Not everyone, but for a lot of them. And a lot of them are going to these countries and they are exploiting a lot of these women. And they know they can also have sex with a lot of these women at even younger ages than even here in America. So um, this story really hit home here in Minnesota because this happened a month ago and this was all over the news in the Twin Cities. But a young man from the Hmong community, which is an Asian community up here in the Twin Cities, was found beaten and killed and thrown in a river in Colombia. And there have been over 24 men in the past few months that were killed in Colombia. Um, and at least eight of those men were American citizens. So it is getting bad out here. So we're going to go ahead and watch this news coverage that's talking about this. So check this out. Tonight, an urgent warning for Americans visiting Colombia after a string of deaths in tourist hotspots. The U.S. Embassy in Bogota urging travelers not to use dating apps in the country, writing in a security alert that criminals are using the sites to lure victims with many U.S. citizens drugged, robbed, and even killed by their Colombian dates. Embassy officials confirming the deaths of at least eight Americans traveling in Medellin, possibly linked to the apps. I'm out of words to describe. I just, I don't even know how, how I feel right now. A situation all too familiar for the family of 50-year-old Tu Zhang, an artist and activist from Minnesota who we first reported on last month. He had been traveling in Colombia in December when he called his brother out of the blue asking for money. This time he was like, hey, do you have a couple of thousand? I was like, mm, yeah, no problem. And when he want it, he said, I want it now. I'm in this bit of a situation here. I go, oh, uh, yeah, I can do that. Zhang's family telling our Minneapolis affiliate soon after he stopped responding to their messages, he was found dead. A local prosecutor saying Zhang was kidnapped during a date and killed when he could not make the ransom payment and that his body was found covered in stab wounds. I was confused. I, I, to be honest, I don't know why, you know, what the motive is. Zhang had visited Colombia in the past, posting photos and videos to social media as recently as October with an unidentified woman. My girl. The embassy's alert indicated officials do not believe all eight of the deaths are linked and said they've seen an increase in reports of incidents involving the use of online dating applications to lure victims, typically foreigners, for robbery by force or using sedatives to drug and rob individuals. Often the reports coming from major Colombian cities like Medellin, Cartagena and Bogota. Murders of foreign visitors went up by 29% in the latter part of 2023 Damn. compared to the previous year, according to the embassy, and most of the victims were U.S. citizens. It's a popular destination for Americans who are big contributors to Colombia's tourism industry, making up nearly 30% of foreign travelers in the first half of last year. But behind that beauty, tragedy, and unanswered questions for families like Zhang's, a case where no arrests have been announced, according to that local prosecutor. Loved ones are left to mourn from thousands of miles away. And he'll draw everybody in. That's how the people he is. All right, so it is getting bad out here. I also want to read this story because, like I said, it's happened to several men. So right here, eight passport bros killed in Colombia in the past three months. And they're saying that a growing number of men are traveling to foreign countries to meet submissive women 
who are less expensive and not too demanding. The term passport bros first appeared on TikTok and refers to men who use dating apps for hookups with women in other countries. Authorities say at least 25 passport bros were killed in Medellin, Colombia in 2023. Four Americans were killed in Medellin in November alone. So this is one of the gentlemen that was killed. And a lot of these guys are older. You know, the Asian guy was 52. This guy's 59. His name is Gregory Stewart Owens. He was looking for love in Colombia when he was gunned down in the streets of Cartagena during a robbery in October of 2023. Owens was robbed of his belongings, including his watch, gold chain around his neck. Owens' family finally received his body in Chattanooga, Tennessee, two weeks after he was killed. The U.S. State Department helped the family to cut through the red tape and bring his remains home. This young man, 45, his name was Johnny Jerome, found dead in a jacuzzi in a luxury hotel in Marein on November 2nd. He was killed the day after celebrating his birthday with a cousin and two women that he met on a dating app. Another young man, Philip Mullins, uh, 32 years old from Tennessee, was found dead in a room at an upscale one million suite hotel in Medellin after a night out with the woman. And then they go on to talk about the Minnesota man um, that was also killed. So this is real. You know, this whole situation is really unfortunate. Um, but this has been a big thing on social media. There's been a lot of debates. You know, a lot of guys say that they go to these countries because these women are fit, fun, feminine, and friendly. You know, all the Fs. And what I always find interesting is when I see videos of what these women look like, they're gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but they're not dressed any differently than the Instagram girls here in America. You know, like people also, they want women to look a certain way and be more conservative and, you know, not be sexy and show it all off. But usually when I'm on TikTok, this is what I'm seeing all the time. <laughs> And as you see, like, they're gorgeous. Their bodies are done. They got the BBLs. They got the, you know, the, the Instagram body package. Um, they look just like the same women that they complain about here in America. So that always confuses me. You can clearly tell they're selling ass. Like, let, let's keep that real. A lot of these men are not going to these countries looking for wives. Because if that's the case, they would just, you know, get a mail order bride. A lot of them are simply going for sex. And I remember, because, um, you know, initially, like I said, I thought this was just innocent people going overseas, finding love. You know, I, you know, I'm a big proponent of, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. You know what I'm saying? So if you feel like you can find love as a woman in Jamaica or Brazil, hey, as a man, if you feel like Brazilian women treat you better, hey, go do you, bro, okay? But what I've noticed is a lot of the disrespect for the women in these countries. I remember a man went viral about a year ago. Um, I believe I did a video on him. I know Iloho also did a video on him. And basically this man and others were bragging on social media that they could basically get sex from women in the Dominican Republic and in other countries for literally $30 in a bag of rice. And this went viral all over TikTok. It was really embarrassing. So we're going to watch a snippet of um, what she had to say about the situation. And a lot of these quote unquote women are actually girls. But in those countries, the legal age is what, 14, 15, 15? 13, 16, they're partaking in human trafficking. Now, this man has gone viral as well. This is the um, guy. He goes to, I believe, DR. He is creepy. And look at the women that, well, I can't even say women because clearly they're young girls that follow behind him. He's just creepy. Are, um, and participates in sex tourism, as you can see. He's cuddled up with clearly underage girls. And you have men in the comments cheering him on, saying, yeah, my brother, you know, you a king out there. Keep doing your thing. Got that gummy smile. Yeah. Y'all disgust me on a different fucking level. Okay, so like I said, this has been a topic of people going back and forth about this whole passport bro things for a few years now. And there's even more discussion being had on TikTok, so we're going to watch that as well. So let me just make sure I have this straight, Demarius. You thought that you was going to take your ass down to South America on a flight powered by Massage Noir to go sexually exploit the locals 
and there will be no consequences. You just really thought she was going to go like scout a wife maybe to bring back and, and you could further shit on black women and, and live your life happily ever after and nobody was going to say nothing and nothing was going to happen to you. Hmm. And here's the thing. When the unthinkable does happen, do you think the popo in Colombia and going to waste time and resources trying to figure out what happened to your black ass? Sound like Big Mama and them going to be having a memorial with nobody and no answers. How dreadful. Remember a few weeks ago I told y'all that 24 was going to be the year of action and reciprocity and things are going to be exposed? It's fuck around and find out season. Now, I don't want anybody to lose their lives. Well, that's not true. I don't want most people to lose their lives. But this... Uh, <laughs> what you want me to say? Do not use dating apps if you're visiting Colombia. This new warning comes after eight American tourists have died under mysterious circumstances. Cut the bullshit. It was not under mysterious circumstances. Let's call it how it is. They were there for sex workers. They went to a totally different country in order to get sex. With possibly underage girls or girls who are just above the consenting age. Yes, passport bros are not any angels. They went there in order to get something. Can we stop this narrative? Yes, can we stop of painting Colombia as the violent place that it was back in the 80s, almost 40 years ago? Yes, Colombia is a dangerous place. So is the States. It's been eight people. You wanna know how many people this happens to in the States? More than 16,000 abductions and thousands and thousands of SA assaults. They don't even have a specific number because there are thousands and thousands of cases. I understand maybe your video was in an informative way, but you're literally painting a whole country just for eight cases when there are more than 16,000 cases that happen in the US. It is dangerous for Americans. It is dangerous for Americans. Yeah. Yeah, everywhere is dangerous. There are bad people everywhere. Just stop. Just stop. Cut the bullshit and call it how it is. This man, grown man, when they're to find young women because usually in latin america especially colombia the consenting age is way lower than in the states so they go there to get young young women who are in vulnerable places who literally have to sell their bodies in order to survive just for them to feel the, their their fantasy and their sexual necessities and when the outcome is negative then we are the bad ones. We are the bad ones because we treat, we didn't treat the pedophiles and the perps with respect because they respect us so much. What? What did, hey man, rest in peace to all them passport bros that done got offed over there in Colombia. But I gotta say, what did you expect? You just gonna come over there looking like a walking lick and have your way with these women? Really? Y'all ain't heard Mona Lisa by Lil Wayne? Folks getting set up in the U.S. What you think is happening in another country, bro? Come on now. This was my point right here. It might have gotten misconstrued, but it's a sad situation all around. These men died. They might have families, children. I don't know their situations. However, let's use our common sense is all I'm saying. You're going to another country where you probably don't speak the language to meet strangers off the internet you've never seen before in private places. Like I wouldn't even do that in the States. And somebody said this in the comments, you can get got in the States. Like you can be a lick in the States, but with your income in another country where the dollar's worth way more, you're that much more of a lick. So you've got to be safe. That's my point. We don't want to hear about more of y'all on the news because you didn't take precaution. All right. So you guys just saw those videos with me. I think the whole situation is sad, right? So condolences to everybody who's lost their life. We don't want people getting killed, but I think people have to use discernment and common sense. And one thing I've noticed about some, not all of these passport bros, but the ones that tend to go viral is that they're messy and they're using this as an excuse to talk down to black women and American women, you know, and say, oh, we got to travel overseas because women overseas are better. You guys are not fit, fun, feminine or friendly you know the f's and you know again to each its own as far as who they want to date i could care less but 
Why do we have to put down our own women? Why do we have to put down black women? Why do we have to put down American women? If you're having a good old funky time overseas and you're meeting, you know, the the you're getting the, the best push you've ever gotten, that is your business. But why does everything have to be on the internet? And like they always say, you know what I'm saying? Real, real players, real guys who are getting it, they move in silent. When you're sitting there being braggadocious on the internet and you're bragging about your money and how you got all these girls and they're willing to just throw the cooch at you for a bag of rice and 30 bucks, how do you think those people in those countries feel? A lot of these men in these countries, they really don't like black men anyways. And now y'all are coming for their women, getting some of them pregnant, you know, like Aloha was saying, and then going back to the States. Y'all are not really looking to better their lives. You're not really looking to marry them. You're not looking to get them a green card and bring them back to America. You're just looking for a quick, you know what I'm saying, screw. And granted, you could do that. There's all types of, you know, girls who are out there selling their bodies and things like that. But the fact that it's being so publicized, it's not a good look. This is no different than, you know, white men going to Africa on this whole sex tourism thing where in certain countries, like in Madagascar, there's really no real age of consent. They're sleeping with children. They're doing this in Thailand and Vietnam. I mean, the sex tourism is real. I mean, you also even have white women traveling to places like Jamaica and getting some of that black peen. So it's just really sad when people who come from so-called first world countries are sitting here exploiting people who come from countries where, you know, they're poor and they're basically using these people. They're using their bodies. They're using their essence for their own selfish gain. So it's really hard to feel bad for some of these men if they're going down there under the guise of exploiting and taking advantage of women. Now, if you're actually going overseas because you are truly looking for love, you are truly looking for a wife and you truly want to settle down with somebody, then that's different. But if you're just out here bragging about, oh, you know, come to Brazil because you can just smash a bunch of barely legal, you know, kids for a bag of rice, that's disgusting. And it's sad that you have so many young people that are being exploited like this. Also, young boys, don't get it twisted. A lot of these dudes are going down there too, messing with these young boys. They're on this bisexual DL nonsense as well. And they're doing that overseas and then coming back to America and trying to act like they're straight as an arrow. So I think at this point, everybody needs to use discernment and common sense. If you wouldn't just meet somebody off of Tinder here in America, you know, and tell them everything that you have and your net worth and your balling and how much your paycheck is, why would you do that? to somebody that you don't know overseas. It's like people go overseas and they just throw all common sense out the window because the beaches are beautiful, the, the waters are blue, the sands are just white and pristine. And it's like when you're overseas, that's when you need to have even more common sense because there's a lot of wolves watching you. They know you're not from there. You know what I'm saying? They know that most likely you don't speak the language. You have no real connection to the island or to that country. So you are a walking target. So you have to use discretion and discernment. Like Belle Viv DeVoe said back in the day, don't trust a big button to smile, okay? And it seems like a lot of y'all are trusting fat asses and, you know what I'm saying, pretty teeth and everything else and throwing common sense out the window. So people just need to be careful. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. When you are visiting overseas, you need to be careful. When you are dating out here in America, you need to be careful. You need to be on guard and understand that at any point in time, you could be set up. And so it's really sad, but... To the point that the State Department is having to give out warnings, you know it's bad. In the Bahamas, they're even issuing a warning that a lot of tourists in the Bahamas are ending up dead as well. So people have to be really, really careful. So let me see if I can find that clip before I go really quick. So I found it, so we're going to watch this really quick. It is one of the most popular vacation destinations in the world. But government officials are issuing a new travel warning for the Bahamas. The State Department is warning tourists about increasing crime rates. The agency raised its travel advisory level to increased caution after 18 people were murdered this month alone. The murders have been happening in both broad daylight and at nighttime. So Americans are being told to stay extra vigilant, especially in eastern New Providence Island. All right. So you guys just heard that. So again, it's not just the Latin countries, even the Bahamas. People have to be smart when traveling overseas. 
I don't care. Even when you're going to a whole nother state, you just have to have your head on the swivel and don't be so blinded by the cooch and peen that you just throw all common sense out the window. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. What do you guys think about all of this stuff that's going on with the passport bros and the U.S. Embassy issuing travel warnings to Colombia and now the Bahamas as well because tourists are dying? Like I said, the economy is not only bad here in America, it is bad globally, okay? And so when they're seeing, you know, rich Americans, rich Canadians, you know, rich Europeans come into these so-called third world countries that people love to call them, um, you guys are a walking lick and people need to use common sense and discernment. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys are still subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to like the video or share the video. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.